Note, all items obtained in this video are after defeating the Pokemon League. Any items given to the player during the main story will not be included. On screen is a list of items we'll be obtaining in this video, and there are no requirements in this case to get them. For the sake of clarification, the area covered in this video is highlighted on screen now. Starting at the main entrance of Poe Town, the first thing we're going to do is make a right. Just south of the Pokemon Center, you're going to find a Max Repel setting over here. Now this town is a lot easier to navigate once you've completed the story, as there are no barricades or Team Skull Grunts interrupting your progress. Now going to the second house on the east side, we're going to go through the ledge hole over here, and you're going to find a rare candy sitting in this own little lawn area. Now we're going to head back out because you can't get from that lawn elsewhere, and then we're going to make our way north. Again, we're going to stick to the east side, and coming over here at the intersection of this road, you'll find another hole in the ledge over here where you'll find a smoke ball in the backyard of this house. Next, we're going to leave this lawn again, and we're going to go inside the big mansion this time, called the Shady House. If you remember in the story, this is where Guzma and the Team Skull Grunts made their base. First thing we're doing in here is going on the bedroom on the bottom part over here on the left side, and you'll find a Max Revive sitting by itself next to the last bed. Exit that room, and then we're going to go down the hallway that's just below it, and this will take us to the pool area of this mansion, the Shady House, and you'll find an ice stone sitting under this little uh, gazebo thing. So that's it for the pool area, besides the funny Team Skull Grunt in the corner, but that's a different story. We're going to come over here and go to this room over here, and this takes you in a path that's underneath the staircase. You're going to come through this door, pass through this door over here, and you'll find a storage room, I guess, where the kitchen and stuff is. But you'll find a heal powder over here by itself, and that's it for that. So we're going to make our way back to the main room by going through that door, and then this door again, and then one more door all the way over here. Once we're in this room, we're going to go upstairs this time, and we're going to go in the room in the upper left corner. This is Plumeria's room, as you can tell by the dolls and the neat bed. You'll find TM36 sitting next to her bed. She's also the poison, uh, poison specialist, so it's more fitting for her. Then we're going to go in the bedroom at the bottom left corner this time, and over here near the Wii U's, you're going to find an iron. With two items left, first thing we're going to do is come over here and go out on the balcony side. On the east side of this balcony, you're going to find an escape rope. And then lastly, we're going to go inside this window and then through this door to Guzma's base. And in this treasure chest over here, you're going to find a Beginium Z. So, that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and check us out.